We're here at the ATV Trials, and we have a new ATV manufacturer here this year, KTM. John Hines is here. He's going to tell us why KTM got into the ATV business. You know, KTM was taking a look at, at the market overall, and we have an extremely uh, strong position in the off-road motorcycle market. And so we were taking a look at, at some different areas where we could expand our business and, and potential customer base. And certainly uh, the ATV business is, is a natural fit for us with, uh, with how dominant we've been in, in off-road motorcycles and the, the strong crossover in between an off-road motorcycle customer and a, and a sport ATV customer. There's got to be a lot that you've learned in the off-road bike market that applies to this quad. Talk about that for a second. Yeah, definitely. We used a lot of the same technologies that we've learned and, and uh, fabrication methods and, and so on uh, from the motorcycle market integrated into the sport ATV. Probably one of the uh, one of the key features is the the down the down spoiler on the frame. Uh, looks very very similar to some of our off road motorcycles and and a lot of the technologies with braking and suspension components were utilized uh, when we produced the ATV. Now KTM's logo ready to race. Um, I'm guessing you guys are staying in the sport quad market. No plans for a utility machine that uh, hauls a dead deer out of the woods. Not, not for, uh, not for deer hauling. Right. But if, uh, if there, if there starts a, if there's a, if there's a race class for a utility ATV, that's something that we might look at in the future. But definitely, uh, uh, that's one of the unique things about KTM is, is the brand is so strong and, and so focused on ready to race uh, machines of any kind. Um, if there's a, if there's a racing class for it and, and a place that we think is a good fit for the company. We'll take a look at it. KTM traditionally has never really played the market share game. You've never tried to put out more bikes than anybody else. You've tried to put out the best bikes. Is that uh, a fair uh, uh, assumption? Yeah, I think that's. I think that is a fair thing to say. Um, definitely uh, brand positioning. Uh, KTM's a, an upper end brand uh, with premium components on it, and and we market and and uh, we market towards that customer. The ATV is is no exception to that. Uh, it's got premium components all the way around it. Uh, it's built specifically for racers as a race ATV. So uh, we're looking for that high-end customer instead of uh, entry-level customer. The two bikes you have out, the 525 and the 450, both very race-oriented, but more cross-country racing. Any plans to go MX in the future? You know, there's uh, th there's definitely plans to continue to expand the ATV product line, and uh, we're certainly looking at different areas of uh, opportunity for the company there.